from this exact function to the real part, the real space. We were in the k space, k space in the Fourier transform space. But we want to move from this space to the real space in order to get the bond length. To do that, we will, we will press on the R. R means real space. It will give us this spectra. This spectra from what? It's three to the scattering process from one atom to the uh, nearest neighbors and the second nearest neighbors. This is the first nearest neighbors. And this is the second nearest neighbors. And, and so on, the third nearest neighbors. So, our concern to find the bond length, we will find, we will study this way or this spectra only, not the full spectra, this one only, not the full spectra. Due to what? Because this one only is due to the nearest neighbor state, and it is very clear that it is the, the maximum B in the spectra. Uh, so, how to, to study this one? Okay, before we go on with this one, we can do phase correction. Why we do this phase correction? Because we know that, as a uh, professor showed uh, in his presentation, that uh, if you have an uh, an atom, and this atom will, uh, will interact or will be scattered by another atom, there will be a phase shift between uh, the upcoming wave and the scattering wave. So, we need to do phase shift for the, for the spectra before we go on. To, to do this phase shift, the phase shift correction is to just cross button and press R. We will find this phase shift correction. This is the phase shift happening. Okay. Now we want to study this this part only to find the nearest neighbors. To study this part, how to study it? We will press window. When we press window, a window like this will move and it surrounds the bead that we want to study. After that, we will find that this window is not fitted on the on this spectra because it, it is larger or it's smaller. So we want to control how to choose this window. What are the parameters? These are the parameters for the real space. You can change it. It was, uh, initially before it was from 1 to 3, but after that we can modify it from 1.4 in order to get rid of this part and to make it less than to 2.85 to get part of the other. Like this. It was after the three, now it was less than the three. So we now fitted the data that we got uh, on, the, on, the, on the area that we want to study. And this is our real, uh, real state that we can study and do and find the new state. Now we will uh, save the project because this is the first uh, package, the first Athena software. And now we will move to another software to study it, which is called Artemis, and my friend will call on you. Thank you. Now, after getting the, uh, the uh, exhaust function from the energy space to the real space, uh, to the K space, and then coming to the radio space, we have saved our uh, filter value. That now we'll use uh, this Artemis and uh, I'll tell you what the Artemis, it is a long goddess was used to think about that she is going to uh, hunt and she is also going to save the ladies till their god marriage. So we are not going to discuss here, we are going to discuss software, we can get it from this link. And there are two basic needs for, to operate in this software. The filtered data, which we already did, and then uh, to do the theoretical comparison, we can go to this website and uh, see the periodic table and whatever we need and type of compound or single element, we can get it from there. So as we are dealing with nickel, we get it uh, nickel from there. And these are a few steps which we will follow uh, for the further analysis. So I'll go with the one by one. So we'll open our filter data. In this window, I will explain uh, what this window is. And this, we open the data. 
were polluted. And this is the main screen. This part contains information about the data from where it was taken and about the energies, uh, uh, all the values which we did during the, the experiment. And we can import the data to this software by pressing this button. And then we do all the next steps by controlling these, uh, the K space and the radio space and then go uh, back to the K space. So now we want to do the theoretical uh, uh, comparison. We'll do deal with the theory part here. So we'll load the theory file by doing all these steps. So here we come uh, with the theory. Theoretical part has been loaded to the software. So on the left, we see these values. Uh, these are the values for uh, simple uh, ideal crystal. As we are talking about the nickel, it is the FCC. So all the axis X, Y, Z are the same. So as written here. So also the bond angles are the same uh, for the X, X, Y, and Z. So these all are written here. The group space, all the values are given here. So what we do next, we load this uh, nickel file and we run this, uh, we say as an atom, we uh, run the atom. So we'll have to come with come this window and we'll get the information uh, what this file is. So now we want to load this file into software. So we'll uh, press this again. We'll run this uh, software. So we'll come with a few options. So uh, as uh, my friend were discussing that, uh, we can uh, get uh, the exhaust due to the scattering. So if, if let's consider a crisp, uh, cluster. It can contain many atoms, and we can get many scattering paths. If we want to, uh, here we can select one scattering path only, or we can select all scattering paths, or few limited. So we'll select here the first n part by pressing here. So these are the first 10 scattering paths. So, so we can see here, if uh, I consider only first nearest neighbor, we will get uh, two legs, that the going wave and the coming wave. And if we consider mm, three atoms, we can get three legs, or uh, it, it can scatter from one to second, second to third, and third to the first again. So this information is given on the left side on the screen. We'll control it, and we'll uh, want to look how the things, uh, we, we are going to filter these, or to select a certain path. So here the two legs and uh, are given. Then the next is the uh, radial distance, and uh, then we we'll get the main thing, uh, the magnitude of uh, the peak. So it's 100 percent. We can see for the remaining as well. So now we have selected first three, uh, first two parts, and our real experimental data, and we have loaded into this window. So this blue line was uh, our filter data uh, for the experiment and this red line is our first scattering path and this green line is our second scattering path. So as we can see that this red line completely overlaps uh, our first nearest neighbor so, and it has the highest amplitude per minus like this. And uh, next we are going to guess the parameter. So we have four guessing parameters here, uh, which are 